Terry Martin is a reptile expert. Hello? Someone has a snake in their yard, so they call him. He searches around. In 15 years of doing this, he's never been bitten. This is a big one. This looks like a nice place, actually. There's a tail here. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's a spectacled cobra. That sucker's a killer. I hate it when they do that. He's in a bad position. All it takes to kill a man is five one thousandths of an ounce of its venom. Mm. About four, four and a half feet. Big enough to do some damage. And it's not happy. Basically, I need to distract the snake, get him by the back of the head. Hilly, I handed you my snake bag. Do you have it with you? Yeah, right here. Catching the snake is one thing. Getting it in the bag is another. It's a lot more dangerous. What are you doing now? Ow! Oh, well, that's not good. good. That's not good, good at all. Let's see it again, close up. Oh, yeah, he's biting. What are you doing now? Ow! What happened to you? I think, yeah, he's got me on the finger. There is a little venom inside. He's, it's burning. And, ah. Whoa. Something told me I should have brought a bigger bag. I'm into the bag. I need to get to the hospital pretty soon, actually, because, yeah, fingers bleeding. Burning, burning a lot. Hopefully, we'll be able to get there in time so that uh, nothing serious happens, but uh, I don't even know how much venom he's put into me. I'm nervous. I just want to know, but I'm supposed to stay calm. Every handbook says I'm supposed to stay calm, and I don't want to go quick. <laughs> hey, where are you running? Uh, it shouldn't be running, actually. It'll just speed up circulation. His clock is running out. Jerry heads to the nearest hospital to get some antivenom. He wants to drive to keep his mind off the fact that he's slowly dying. Oh, great, a train. Jerry has to wait for it to go by. This ain't no tired movie of the week. This is real life or death. The train passes. Jerry's thinking, yeah, about time. He's feeling it. Around the bite, it's a very sharp shooting pain. It's a very dull pain further up. Yeah. Usually there's incredible pain, um, acute swelling, nausea, sluggishness. You start to get a bit uncoordinated and things like that. And eventually you just have a system breakdown and die. With all due respect, we're kind of rethinking this whole let Jerry drive thing. A dude who's starting to black out and who's circling the drain ain't exactly a safe driver. Woo, finally at the hospital. Everything's gonna be okay. They're not that well equipped. Or not. Jerry checks in. We hope he's got insurance. Oh, that's right, this ain't America. They might actually treat him first. But before doctors can decide what to do, they have to give him a blood test to see how much venom he has in his system. Getting tired is one of the last steps before you die of a snake bite. A bit sluggish. Uh, a weak. The blood test shows he has a lethal dose of cobra venom. They hit him with six hours of anti-venom treatments. The next day, he walks out of the hospital. Well, right now I'm gonna go back home, get the snake out of that bag and release him. No hard feelings? Nah. The snake was just pissed off because he was holding his head. I would bite someone who was holding my head. Jerry gets right back on the horse. I, I mean, the snake. The snake almost wasted him. But he lets it go on his own farm. No hard feelings, fella. Just don't bite anyone else. Jerry's job might suck, but he's a max ex.